Hello, it's Mo Willems in my studio. Today, is the 1st of March, 2022. It's been a while. Let's see what I can turn this into. It's Piggy's uncle, Piggy. They all have the same name. Well, welcome back to a special Lunch Doodles variant edition. It has been almost two years since we did the first Lunch Doodles, since we got together to play. And today, I wanted to take a little bit of time to pause and to think about the last two years. I know for me, two years is a long time. Uh, for some of you, it could be half your life or a third of your life, but even for me, it's a long time. And if anything has happened over this last two years, I can say with certain certainty, uh, I've gotten older. Matter of fact, I'll show you how much older. This is a picture of me from before the pandemic. And this is me now. Much older. I also have gotten more appreciative. Over the last two years, I've really appreciated medical workers, uh, teachers, what we now call essential workers, uh, which means people who are out there every day making it possible for us to work. And of course, the reminders. I'm appreciative of the reminders. The people over the last couple years who reminded us that we should be safe, that we should be just, how to be more aware of who we are and how we are in the world. And it hasn't been easy. Uh, many of us have gotten sick and uh, many of us have gotten very sick. I don't think about that. Uh, and all of us have had to improvise. So I thought today we would play and think about improvising, thinking about what is given to us and what we make out of it. And if you remember in an earlier lunch doodles, we did something called a squillums where there was a weird drawing or just a dot and then we made something out of it. Well, that's what we're gonna do now. So if you want to pause, get some paper and two different colored pens and a partner, you can do this. Or you can get your official printer outerer to go and print out, there's a whole bunch of them, print out all of the squillums for this exercise. And they would be the exact same squillums that I am going to be using today. Okay, so we pause, don't know, don't know. We got it, yeah, and press it, and then there's an apple, and then a little sign of a P, and then, doop, doop, and then they print out, oh, that's a lot of paper. And ready? Okay, let's play. So I have a special machine. This is a machine called the Fun Art Thingy Emitter. Now I've made this special machine, but you can make one at home afterwards if you want to. I'm gonna show you, here it is, my Fun Art Thingy Emitter. There it is, you see it gets a little radio symbol and all of that stuff. And then if I want, thank you, fun art thing, emitter. If I want to get a squillums, I use this and it will make a random line for me to make a drawing with. Let's see if it works. Oh, 
It works. All right, so uh, the, the F-A-T-E gave me this. Let's see what I can do with it. Now remember, when you get a squillum, you can turn it all around, get a pen, and see if you can think of a design. Let's see. Oh, here, actually, I think I have an idea. Well, let's do it like that. It's, it's a frog, see? It was just a little line, not a frog. And I'm gonna, oh, it looks like I have another one. Oh, it's another squillums. All right, let's take a look at that. Hmm, it's kind of a weird, oh, okay, here we go, little line. This is a different way to do it. Let's see. I am going to turn that silly line into a person. See, there's a person. I'm going to, um, oh, oh, okay, thank you. Fun art thing, Mitter. Uh, there are a bunch of them. Okay, let's take a look. Here's another one. I better do it quickly because they seem to be coming out. Um, I could go, oh, yeah, that could be like a tooth. No, wait, wait, I got it, I got it. All right, and there we go. It's a shark. You see, I made a, I made a, 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 a <laughs> uh, all right. What is this gonna be? Okay, kind of running out of ideas. Um, so, you know, they don't all have to be great. Uh, it's it's somebody in a sweater. It's what they're wearing a sweater. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Uh, uh, lightning round. Let's see. That is. Oh, that did, that doesn't work. So let's do it like that. It is somebody in a baseball cap. Baseball cap. All right. Okay. And it's uh, somebody happily with their dog and they got the little hair and there's the dog and their arm around it and the dog is happy is that good that's a good one okay um it's gonna be a snail okay it's a snail there we go i did it up okay it's um it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be somebody wearing sunglasses who's a punk rocker who has a nose and teeth and they're having a fun time at the punk rocker. And, all right, it's just somebody, um, it's their pants. Their pants, they're there and they're leaning over and they spilled something so they feel really bad about that. Oh no, I spilled something. Okay, yeah, well that's easy. We're just gonna make that uh, an elephant trunk. It's an elephant trunk. There we go, elephant trunk. Uh, okay, um, let's see. It's a kitty. It's a kitty cat sleeping. Kitty cat sleeping. All right. Uh, so you can um, you can do these at home. It's kind of fun, particularly when you have the emitter thing is constantly giving you. Okay, it's, it's just going to be a face doing a little thing. Okay, and this is going to be uh, the squiggles that uh, help me write the end because I, um, uh, thank you for watching this lunch doodles. Uh, I hope that everyone is safe. I hope that everyone is healthy and I hope that you will continue to make art because as we have seen, science does get us out of things, but art, gets us through things. So, thank you so much for your help, um, uh, art emitter thingy, and, uh, and thank you. Take care.